Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about RNA splicing. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. Today we will be covering the gene expression in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the major differences in the gene expression and uh, eukaryotic genes explanation about exons, introns and transcription and the formation of pre mRNA and then we look at the RNA splicing. So in RNA splicing there are multiple different steps involved, uh, the pre mRNA processing and we will go through the details about exon intron junction, branch point, spliceosome and small nuclear RNAs etc. Uh, let's see the uh, major difference between uh, eukaryotic and uh, prokaryotic cell. So in prokaryotes, uh, the DNA is present in within the cytoplasm. There is no uh, separate compartment in case of prokaryote, whereas uh, eukaryotic DNA is present in a compartment called the nucleus. So the DNA is present as chromosomes inside the uh, nucleus. So it is compartmentalized. Eukaryotes are the nucleic acids are compartmentalized, uh, whereas in uh, uh, prokaryote it is present in the cytoplasm itself. Well, let's look at the uh, eukaryotic genes. So eukaryotic genes composed of uh, exons and introns. Exons uh, meaning that expressed regions. That is, these are the coding regions uh, that code for a protein. Uh, and uh, it also has uh, introns that is intervening regions or the non-coding regions. So eukaryotic genes contain both exons intercepted by uh, introns. So exons uh, uh, having an intervening region called the intron and uh, uh, the gene expressions are controlled by uh, these non-coding regions called the introns. So the general uh, flow involves the uh, gene expression, uh, involves the transcription of the gene into uh, pre-mRNA. So the pre-mRNA or the primary transcript is the uh, complementary to the DNA from which it is transcribed. And here the difference is that the pre-mRNA will have uracil instead of thiamine. So thiamine uh, will be replaced uh, with uracil. That is a major difference in the uh, uh, pre mRNA and the uh, pre mRNA. So, the, from the DNA, uh, the uh, transcription occurs and mRNA is formed, pre mRNA is formed, and uh, that will have uracil. Let's see the uh, overview of uh, RNA processing. The pre mRNA, as we have seen earlier, uh, uh, will be uh, processed uh, to form uh, mature mRNA. So, the uh, this process is uh, done through RNA splicing. So in RNA splicing, the introns are removed and the exons are joined together. And to form a mature mRNA, a 5' prime cap is added and a poly tail is added to the 3' prime end. Uh, the cap is added to the 5' prime end and a poly tail is added to the uh, 3' prime end. So this is basically to uh, prevent the attack of nucleases. The, the pre-mRNA will be produced inside the nucleus and that will be transported outside to the cytoplasm uh, for the um, protein expression or the uh, protein synthesis or the translation. So once uh, the pre-mRNA is formed, uh, that is spliced and uh, cap and uh, poly tail is added uh, to prevent the uh, degradation. So let's uh, look at the structure of uh, pre-mRNA or the features of pre-mRNA. So the pre-mRNA will have uh, uh, exon intron junctions and uh, this has 5' prime splice site and a branch site and a 3' prime uh, splice site. So to, uh, most of the time the 5' prime spli uh, splice site will have GU nucleotide and, uh, and the 3' prime uh, splice site has AG uh, bases and the branching site or the branching point is uh, upstream to the 3 prime uh, splice site which is uh, 15 to 40 ways per apart and this is the uh, different uh, features of uh, pre mrna 
so uh, the spliceosome uh, is a co co complex of uh, protein and a small nuclear rna so these are uh, these complexes are involved in the splicing of rna so the small nuclear rna and protein combined to form a small nuclear ribonuclear protein or the snubs so these are responsible for the a splicing activity or the RNA splicing. So this complex is called as the spliceosome. So sp uh, uh, spliceosome complex, as we have seen, is a complex of small RNA and proteins, and there are uh, uh, different proteins involved in that. Uh, that is U1, U2, uh, U4, U6, and U5. U4 and U6 are already paired, always paired, and uh, these are the complex of uh, spliceosome. So the uh, splicing pathway uh, involves the uh, binding of uh, binding of the U1 and the U2 to five prime splice site and the branching point. So these two comes and binds uh, to the respective sites. And the next step in the pathway is the binding of uh, U4, U6, and U5. This binding of uh, U4, U6 and U5 uh, creates a looping out of the intron. Uh, the spliceosome creates a loop structure to loop out of the intron. So the introns become a loop-like structure due to the uh, spliceosome binding. The next step uh, is that uh, the U1 and U4 will be released out and U6 binds to the 5' uh, splice site. And uh, U6 binds to the 5' splice site and U2. So this forms a complex and the loop will be there. U1 and U4 will be released out. This is the uh, next step in the process. And further to this, uh, the 5' splice site of the intron is cleaved and attaches to the branch point. So this is the next step in the splicing activity. So the 5' splice site of the intron is cleaved and attaches to the branching point. And in the next step, the intron will be uh, released as lariate. So this will be cleaved and the intron will be uh, released out as a lariate and the exons are joined together to form the mRNA. So this is basically the uh, uh, processing or the splicing of the uh, pre-mRNA. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, uh, please press the like button and uh, share it with your friends. Thank you.